What is up YouTube and welcome to this, this very special DCEU video. So it has been confirmed now that Joss Whedon has left the Batgirl project. Now he said that he's left the movie because he didn't have a story, which I don't think that that's the real reason because there are a number of stories that could have been told with Batgirl, an absolute plethora of ones, considering the fact that we haven't really seen Batgirl at all on the silver screen. Well, we've seen Alicia Silverstone play her on the silver screen, but that really is it. So there are any number from the wealth of the huge Bat catalogue of Batgirl, but it seems like he is gone, and the... DC executives, the, the WB executives, they want to have a female director in place for this movie. Now, that is probably on the back of the fact that it is a female character, and Wonder Woman did so well, especially with Patty Jenkins at the helm of this, which I thought was really, really cool. So it does seem like they want to move forward with that. And the question is, will they actually move forward with the Batgirl project? However, there is something which, in my opinion, is a lot more interesting. So, the hashtag show has actually stated that the Flash movie will be featuring Cyborg, Billy Crudup as Henry Allen, and Iris West. Now, Iris West was actually cut from the movie from Justice League. So, it's really weird that they will be actually involving her in this movie, but it, it is really important, and it's really weird that they cut her out. So, to be honest, I think that they did drop the ball with not having her in the Justice League, especially when we were showing all of how they were created and things like that. But there are a huge number of roles which are going to be added to the movie, and they need to be cast. So the first of which is Officer Fred Chire. He is a Keystone City cop, and he's working with Barry Allen uh, to investigate the death of, bear with me, Jonathan Chambers, a.k.a. Johnny Quick. So Johnny Quick has actually been killed. What? So Johnny Quick is a big, well, that's not really big, but I would say a a fan favorite in some ways of the flash he's a he is a character who actually used an equation so he's he muttered a mathematical equation and this granted him super speed not quite the speed force but he is for all intents and purposes an actual speedster so that's pretty cool as well i think that's a nice little addition to this movie and it's something which i personally was actually very surprised by now, also to appear in this movie are a few characters who are actually featured quite heavily in the Flash television show. So that's Caitlin Snow, Captain Cold, and Heatwave. So to be honest, I can't really have a Flash movie without Captain Cold, or at least Heatwave. Obviously, the two go hand in hand, especially in the Flash TV show. But Captain Cold is one of my favourite rogues of all time. So the fact that we could see these rogues pop up in the movie is something I personally really, really want to see. And that's something that does need to be added. And I'm glad that this isn't going to be just the reverse Flash. This won't be just a reverse Flash movie, seemingly, which isn't what I want. I don't think it's way too early for the most of the cinema going public. Now, what is curious here is that the big bad will actually be Dr. Arthur Light. Now, Arthur Light was a villain of the Justice League as well as the Teen Titans. So, he obviously has the Masterful of Light as well. And it's a really odd choice, in my opinion, to include Arthur Light in this movie as the villain. Now, the thing here is that we will actually be having Eobard Thorne in an interesting way, apparently. So that's rumoured to be what is going to be happening, and I think that it will be on a very light scale. While Reverse Flash will be in this, the main villain, as I said, will be Dr. Light, and he is 
a be, kind of a minor villain of the Justice League. So it's quite odd that he will actually be involved in this. And his main storyline, in my opinion, is the Identity Crisis, where he killed the Elongated Man's wife. So you will know of Elongated Man if you have been watching the Flash TV show. It was also in the Suicide Squad as well. So it's, again, very, very inter- interesting choices here, which is really, really strange. But I'm excited to see where this goes next because I really, really, really loved Ezra Miller as The Flash. However, that is it for this video. Please drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.